Good day, everybody, and we are back again together. All right, and learning more, more, more physics, learning even more, you know, of that chemistry. And um, I thought we should look again at that Mpumalanga paper, quite an interesting paper uh, that was written during the prelims. So, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please just become part of the family, okay? Uh, just make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you know every time we are posting a new lesson. All right, and please just tell even more people about this channel, how much you are learning. Hey, some of you guys are not sharing your secrets, right? Uh, and I've been seeing some of those great comments as well. Uh, just keep them coming so that we can prove that physics is fun and it's worth it, okay? And nothing difficult about this subject, okay? Right, now, um, quickly let's have a look at the question. Uh, this is question four. This is based on momentum. And um, just to mention, for those of you who still need assistance with mathematics or physical science, please don't hesitate to, uh, you know, give us a dial. Uh, our email address is, going, is actually info at mlungisengosi. .co.za. All right, let's get right into it. So uh, we're given a question on momentum. They say a learner on a skateboard moves at four meters per second east. Right, very important when you when you tackle those questions on momentum to give it uh, um, you know the respect that it needs in terms of the direction. Okay, choosing a positive direction. So they give us there that direction in terms of. Uh, you know, points of a, on a compass, right? So they tell us it's going east. So they say the combined mass of the learner and the skateboard is 45 kilograms, right? They say calculate the momentum of the learner skateboard combination, all right? So uh, that would have been simple to do. We know that momentum, okay? So I'm going to start with the first one. We know that momentum is equal to mass multiplied by a uh, the velocity, right? That's the product of mass and velocity. So in this case, I know that the mass, the combined mass, was 45 kilograms, and the velocity uh, with which they were moving with. And by the way, I'm going to choose direction to the east as positive. Okay. And I'm going to maintain that as we answer all the other questions. So I'm going to say this is 45 multiplied by 4. And this should give us, uh, so that's going to be a 180. Okay, so that's going to be 180. Please remember, momentum is measured in kilograms, meters per second. And this is positive. And by the way, they said to you, calculate the momentum, which means that we also ought to give the direction. So it means that the momentum is 180 kilograms meters per second. Okay. And this must be to the east. Okay. Right. And then let's go to the next question. Okay. They say to us, um, state the principle of conservation. Oh, 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 by the way, we missed a part there. They say the learner now holds a parcel with the mass m okay um and they say and moves at four meters per second so there they are uh, east the learner throws the parcel at a speed v so throws the parcel at a speed v okay um the parcel okay relative to the ground after the parcel is thrown the learner moves to the east at 2.5 so what happens is that uh moving to the east He's still moving to the east, but the speed has been somewhat reduced, right? Okay, because of the um, principle of conservation of linear momentum. So they say the parcel lands on a stationary skateboard X, okay, of mass 3 kilograms. And they say the skateboard parcel combination moves um, at 7 meters per second. Um, yeah, ignore rotational effects, right? So now, there are actually two things that are happening here, but let's let's start with the first one. They say, well, state the principle of conservation of momentum in words. Please remember, it says in an isolated system, 
the total linear momentum is conserved or you can say remains the same or you can say in an isolated system momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision okay so um, that would be 4.2 but let me just skip over to 4.3 they say to us calculate the mass of the parcel all right so we wanna get the mass of the parcel all right so um, first of all I didn't know what the mass of this parcel is um, when it was still you know so we've got two things actually happening here we've got the situation where the boy was moving with the parcel and he gets rid of the parcel all right that's the first scenario so momentum of the boy before and the parcel is equal to the momentum of the boy uh, alone and the parcel alone right so let's try to set that one up first now please i want you to follow me i'm going to say well it means the sum of momentum before collision is equal to the sum of their momentas after collision so i'm talking about the boy and the parcel so initially remember that they were both moving together so we actually got that momentum we said well that is a hundred and eighty kilograms meters per second and it's a it's in the positive direction this is the momentum of the boy right and the parcel moving together but now after collision or rather after they are separated think about it so there was a point where you've got only the boy okay there's the parcel moving at a speed v all right and in this case there's the parcel moving at a speed v and they told us that the boy and the skateboard continue moving at 2.5 meters per second still towards the east so let's substitute that there okay i've disturbed my calculation let me say 180 that's the momentum before right i hope you understand that it's the momentum of the boy and the parcel is equal to the momentum of the boy and the skateboard right that is after collision after they are separated so that's the boy um so the mass of the boy is unknown as well so i'm going to say it's the mass of the boy times the speed of the boy after they were separated remember this was 2.5 meters per second okay plus yeah i don't know why i drew this uh, now it's messing up our calculation so uh, and the mass of the parcel so i'm just going to give it big mass m multiplied by the speed of the cus uh, of the of the parcel after collision so we didn't know that speed there remember it was moving at a speed v all right so we've got just a couple of things that uh, uh, we really uh, don't know here so in a sense so i can just let's try and simplify it over there i've got 180 which is equal to now remember the mass of the boy okay uh we didn't know but in this case would it i am just wondering would it be uh, actually okay to say this is 45 minus m the mass of the skateboard remember they said the combined mass was 45 kilograms so i'm going to say this is 45 minus m okay multiplied by a positive 2.5 all right plus um the mass of the skateboard which is m okay um not not the skateboard rather the parcel right multiplied by the velocity immediately after it was released which is that v over there now you agree with me i've got two things that are unknown here which is the mass of the skateboard which is m and the mass of the 
uh, yeah, the, the, the velocity rather of the parcel um, immediately after it was released. So I'm going to leave this as equation one. I'm not sure if we're going to need it. Okay, but I'm just going to leave that as equation one. Okay. Now, let's look at scenario number two. Remember, we had a stationary skateboard and a parcel that was already moving at a speed V. So that's the second scenario. You've got the parcel that's moving at a speed V. So here it is, mass M. And now what happens after that collision is that the puzzle now lands on a, another skateboard. And now they told us that the skateboard has a mass of 3 kilograms. Remember, I still don't know the mass of the puzzle. But they tell me that 2 actually now move at 7 meters per second after the puzzle landed. So let me set up an equation again. I'm going to say, well, sum of momentum initial is equal to the sum of the momentum final. Okay, right? Or you can say sum of momentum before is equal to sum of their momentas after collision. Right, now I'm looking at that. Remember the skateboard was stationary before collision. So I'm going to say, well, it's going to be the mass of the skateboard, um, sorry, of the puzzle, which is big M multiplied by V, okay? And in this case, plus zero, okay? The mass of the skateboard multiplied by the velocity, which was zero before collision, which is equal to, now please, I want you to note, which is going to be equal to, right? What happens here? It's going to be the skateboard plus the parcel, so this is going to be 3 plus m, okay, multiplied by the speed uh, in that direction, which is going to be 7 meters per second in the positive direction, okay? So I hope you can uh, um, uh, get that. So in this case, mv would be equal to 3... Uh, plus m, okay, or you can say, say 7 into 3 plus m. And we can say, well, this is equation 2. Now, I can substitute equation 2 into equation 1. Now, please, I want you to note, do you see that we've got mv there and we've got mv? So why don't we just do that, okay? So I'm just going to uh, continue over to the other side. I'll continue with the rest of the question. So I'm going to say, well, if I look at this, uh, this is going to be, if I substitute equation 2 into equation 1, so where I've got mv, right? So mv 7 into 3 plus m. So I'm going to say in equation 1, I've got 180 is equal to, 45 minus m, right, multiplied by 2.5, okay, plus where there's mv, I now am going to put that 7.3, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, 7 into 3 plus m, uh, sorry about that mess there. Right, so let's try. Okay, obviously now we only have M, uh, which is uh, unknown. Um, so we can try and work that out. Okay, so we've got uh, 45. So of course you're going to multiply into that there. So 45 times 2.5. Okay, so times 2.5 and that will give me 112.5, so that's 2.5 times 45, that's 112.5, okay, minus, in this case, 2.5 times m, we're going to say minus 2.5 m, all right, plus 7 into 3, that will give us 21, okay, 
and 7 times m will give us 7m. I'm sure I've given you enough ammunition now to uh, tackle this m on your own. So that would be 7, uh, 7m, seven so we've got to group all our like terms, 7m minus uh, 2.5m, okay, so this would be uh, 4.5, right? 4.5m, okay, um, and you've got 180 minus 1, 12.5 minus 21, so that's 180 minus 112.5 minus 21, and I get a value of 46.5. Okay, I can divide both sides by 4.5. Oh my, oh my, what a question. So M would be, divide that by 4.5, and I get a value of 10.33. Uh, please, if you can, verify that for me. All right, and see if you find uh, you get the same answer. Um, I hope that makes sense. So we get the mass of the parcel to be 10.33 kilograms. All right, now let's get to the last part, V. They were, they were looking for the speed V. I'm sure now you understand how to tackle that one. Okay. All we need to do is just substitute for m in uh, either equation 2 or equation 1. So I'm going to take equation 2 because it looks much easier. So 4.3.2, going to say, well, substitute for m in both equations. So it's going to be 10.33, okay, uh, times v, which is equal to 7 times 3 plus 10.33. All right. So that's going to be 7 times 13.33. Okay, when we add those together and we divide that by 10.33, and I get an answer of. So the speed V is going to be 9.03, okay, you can say 9.03 meters per second. Right, um, that is to the best of my ability that I will try to answer that, okay. Please remember there were those two scenarios there, uh, but nonetheless, uh, I hope that I did explain it so that you can understand it, okay. Right, so um, I will leave it there for now, all right, and hopefully see you guys again next time. Please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends, your enemies, your hey, everyone that you are learning physics in a remarkable way. And I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.